Hi, you guys. Today I wanted to read for you guys a second book, but this one I've read to several classes. And so if you got to hear it, you know how adorable it is and you're going to love it, right? This is Mr. Duck Means Business. It is a 2.1 reading level book by Tammy Sauer. And Jeff Mack is an illustrator and he did a great job with these illustrations. They are so cute. There's the quiz number. I will always put the quiz number in my comments also when I type up the comments. Mr. Duck means business. Mr. Duck lived by himself at the pond each day. He followed a tight schedule. Shh, look at all his signs to keep everyone out. Don't even think about it. No trespassing. Private property of Mr. Duck. Let's see what his tight schedule is. From six o'clock in the morning until seven o'clock, he would stretch his wings. From seven o'clock until eight o'clock, he would fluff his feathers. At precisely 8.01, he would glide across the perfectly still water. Ah, said Mr. Duck, it's so peaceful, so quiet. I have everything I need. Day after day, week after week, and year after year, everything was the same, and Mr. Duck was very happy. Then, one especially hot summer day, Mr. Duck had just begun his morning gliding when he saw Pig? <gasps> Look out below! Oink, oink, splash! I love that picture. Mr. Duck sputtered. He muttered. He tail a fluttered. But Pig did not get the message. Ooh, look at him. He's about to do a belly flop. Oh, no. Mr. Duck was all set to give Pig a strongly worded speech regarding private property when... <gasps> well, there you are, said Cow. Let's see your moves, called Pig. Jump in. You don't mind, do you, Mr. Duck, said Cow, as she plowed past. Moo, moo, splash. Mr. Duck grumbled. He mumbled. He flip-flop fumbled. But pig and cow did not get the message. They're doing water ballet. <gasps> Mr. Duck was all set to tell them what's what when. Hey, said Goat, we've been looking all over for you. Anyone up for a game of Marco Polo? Called Pig. Last one in is a rotten egg, cheeped the chick. Come on, Mr. Duck, said Cow, you're it. The water got wild. The scenery got crowded. And the peace and quiet, it was gone. Mr. Duck is not happy. Mr. Duck tapped. He flapped. He totally snapped. Quack! And somebody got the message. Whoa. Perhaps we have overstayed our welcome, said Chick. Oh, said the other animals. Out, out, out of my pond, cried Mr. Duck. This time I mean business. So sorry. My apologies. Goodbye for good, said Mr. Duck. Sorry to have bothered you, said Chick. Thanks for letting us swim in your pond. Alone at last, 
Mr. Duck returned to his routine. He stretched his wings. There was no splashy belly flopping. He fluffed his feathers. There were no annoying water ballet. He glided across the perfectly still water. There was certainly no rowdy round of Marco Polo. Ah, said Mr. Duck, it's so peaceful, so quiet, and that's just the way I like it. On Monday, quiet. On Tuesday, very quiet. On Wednesday, peaceful. On Thursday, very peaceful. On Friday, high <gasps> on. On Saturday, Mr. Duck twiddled his feathers peacefully and quietly, of course. And on Sunday, Mr. Duck had a plan. Mm, what's he going to do? These days, Mr. Duck still loves to stretch at six o'clock. He still loves to fluff his feathers at seven o'clock. He still loves to glide across the peaceful still water at precisely 8.01. But sometimes life calls for a little noise. The sign says, noise welcome from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Especially with friends. Isn't that great? He let his friends come play every day. Because he missed them. I love the illustrations in this book. They're great, huh? The end.